now there's a push by the Dems to codify Roe. That's what they're saying. Codify Roe. So you in the Senate and your brethren in the House need to pass a federal law that would recognize abortion as legal at the federal level, which would basically mean the states can't countermand that. Is that going to happen? No, it's not going to happen. And uh, Megan, I'm not sure that there's a constitutional basis for it happening anyway. I mean, the Supreme Court actually has been clear on this, that the Congress does not get to determine the bounds of the Constitution. The Supreme Court is the final say in the judiciary on, on what the Constitution means. Now, obviously, the people can change the Constitution, absolutely, certainly, but Congress can't change the Constitution. So I don't know that there's any basis for Congress to come in and say, oh, we'll tell you. We'll tell you what the states can and cannot do. We'll tell you what voters can and cannot say with regard to abortion. I, I just don't think that Congress has that kind of power. All right, but let me ask you, let me jump in and ask you this. So, what, so what's to stop Congress from saying abortion affects interstate commerce? So, you know, women now, if, we, if, it, if it's illegal in 13 states plus, because it'll be more than 13 eventually, um, they're going to have to travel across straight lines and so on to get abortions if they want them. And so uh, it's in our power to regulate this issue. And we would like to regulate it by saying it's legal. It's uh, that there is a national right to an abortion. Yeah, uh, that, that's certainly something they could try, Megan. But uh, uh, if you can do that, then there is no right that Congress can't redefine. There is no right that Congress can't come back, come back and say that, well, we don't like the Supreme Court's opinion on this, so we're just going to change it just by legislative fiat. I mean, the court famously, infamously, in my view, uh, had a, a ruling years ago, the Smith case, religious liberty case, in which the court, I think, wrongly narrowed the rights of religious liberty in this country. Congress passed legislation to try to expand the right, and the Supreme Court struck that down and said, no, 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 you, you can't come in and say that now the amendment means something different. So I think the Democrats are going to run into that problem with abortion. But regardless, Megan, here's my bottom line. I'd obviously vote no on, on any attempt to mandate abortion on demand across this country. I think that's the wrong policy. I think it's immoral. I think it's up to the people. The bottom line is, is that the people ought to have an opportunity now to weigh in on this in all 50 states and actually have their voices heard. And that's what overturning Roe would mean. The truth is, they don't have the votes to do it. So right. they can have, I mean, senator after senator and a Democratic pundit after another has come out saying codify Roe, codify Roe. They don't have the votes as even Jen Psaki admitted, I think it was this morning on uh, Air Force One. Listen to her. The president's uh, position is that we need to codify Roe and that is what uh, he has long called on Congress to act on. What is also true is that there has been a vote on the Women's Health Protection Act, which would do exactly that, and there were not even enough votes, even if there was no filibuster, to get that done. Uh, so I would note in his written statement that we released this morning, I'm just going to reiterate what he said in this statement. He said, if the court does overturn Roe, it will fall on our nation's elected officials at all levels of government to protect a woman's right to choose. So much for Chuck Schumer, who's out there, you know, the Democratic majority leader in the Senate saying we, it's our intention for the Senate to hold a vote on legislation to codify the right to an abortion in law. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we've done this. He's done this before. We've taken votes on it before, Megan. Uh, it has failed. It, it's going to fail. And uh, his own party has been clear that they're not willing on the Senate side to blow up the filibuster in order to take this down to a 50 vote threshold. And that's as it should be. I mean, the rules of the Senate say you need at least 60 votes here to break a filibuster. They don't have those votes. And this is it is wrong to try and bully the Supreme Court. Let's be clear about what's going on here, Megan. This is an attempt by the Democrats to bully the Supreme Court into changing their opinion. They know the vote will fail in the Senate. The idea is to try and create public pressure on the court now to switch midstream and change the opinion. That's wrong. That is an attempt to interfere in the judicial process. And I hope the justices will resist it. I think they will. Well, she's saying Jen Psaki's admission is significant because she's acknowledging even if we got rid of the filibuster, which would be a, you know an act even more extreme than the leak of a Supreme Court opinion, uh, it would change America fundamentally. Even with that, if we eliminate the filibuster, we don't have the votes to pass 
a national codification of Roe versus Wade. So, you know, let's talk Turkey. And that's why Joe Biden was out there yesterday saying elect Democrats, elect pro-choice Democrats to the Senate, to the House. That's what we need to do. We need to flood the field with more pro-choicers. So that's step one. We'll get the people in there who would vote for this. And step two is we'll try to get around the Supreme Court telling us we don't have this power. Yeah, this is clearly what they want to talk about. They think, Megan, going into these uh, next few months and into the midterm elections, they were going to want to make it an abortion referendum. I, mm-hmm. I just I don't think that's going to work for them. I mean, because, listen, the, the American people, those who are opposed to abortion, are, who vote for Republicans, by the way, are going to welcome this decision. If this is, in fact, the decision of the court, I hope it is, they're going to welcome this decision. This will be the, the culmination of decades, decades of fighting for the innocent unborn. They're going to be really energized. Those on the Democrat side who are in favor of abortion, they're obviously going to be very depressed by this, and, and they'll probably be energized to get out and vote, but they weren't going to vote for Republicans anyway. So mm. I, I think that the Democrats' idea that somehow they'll turn this into a referendum on abortion, I mean, fine, go right ahead, but I don't think it's going to work. I think that the American people see this for what it is. What the Democrats are really saying is, let us tell you what to think on this issue. If you disagree and want to have a say in this issue, you're wrong. You should shut up and you should allow nine justices to make up your, their minds, your mind for you. And I just don't think that's what most Americans want. Are you tired of feeling like someone's always watching you on the Internet? Using incognito mode will not solve the problem either. IP Vanish VPN will. They're here to protect your right to privacy and help you stay anonymous online. IP Vanish helps you safely browse the internet without exposing your private details to third parties. You can use IP Vanish on your computers, tablets, phones, even devices like your Fire Stick when you're streaming media. When you use IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted. IP Vanish makes you virtually invisible online. It's that simple. IP Vanish right now is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan. That's just for our listeners with a 30 day money back guarantee. 70% off. Who else is offering that? That is like getting nine months, almost the whole year, for free. IP Vanish, super easy to use. All you've got to do is tap one button and you are instantly protected. Take your privacy back today with the brand rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot. So go to ipvanish.com slash Megan and use that promo code M-E-G-Y-N to claim your 70% savings. ipvanish.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.